Welcome back to my channel, Pretty in Inspired Decor. My name is Shelley and I'm absolutely thrilled that you join me again today because you're in one of my favorite rooms in the house. I have so many favorite rooms in the house, but this room has a special place in my heart because my hu husband finished it for my girls and for me. He knew that I needed a little bit more space in the house to decorate and we needed more space for the family when the girls became teenagers. Our home isn't large. It's about 2,200 square feet on two levels. And so we finished up about another 800 square feet or so down here. And this room is so cozy. It's where my husband watches, you know, football and soccer and baseball and oy, 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 hockey and golf. Who watches golf? But anyway, this is his space but it doesn't mean it can't be gorgeous and pretty and fun. Now, this room didn't have a window. It's in the basement, and the way I wanted to finish this space meant that the largest room actually wouldn't have a window. So my husband and I put our thinking caps on, and we decided that we would make it look almost like a window by adding this gorgeous lake front picture. I'm telling you when people are down here, it doesn't matter what the season is, people say, my God, it looks like a window. And that's why we bought it. We also added some um, really pretty mirrors on either side of this picture, just to sort of bounce the, the light around a little bit. And you know, it really adds to the room. But let's get back to fall. So I'm going to start um, over here. And in this little corner, I decided on this end table that I would just take a bowl that I already had, I would add some leaves that I already had, and one of the pumpkins that I bought from Michael's that's so, so pretty. Um, you will notice, and I love these plates, these are little witch plates. They're actually dessert plates, but I use them for display. Look at her, look at how gorgeous she is. They're from Lenox, and I can't tell you how much I love. I have four of them, and, I, and I, you'll notice I'll have all, I have all four of them in the basement because they're just so pretty. And they fit this sort of a little bit more rustic-y theme down here. You'll notice there's a little bit of black down here, and, and it's pretty. Behind that, I just have a candle that I keep out all year. Now I'm going to take you over to this coffee table. We created this coffee table out of two blanket boxes. Initially, we just had one of them down here, the other one was in a bedroom. And one day I said to my husband, why don't we pull it downstairs? I wanted a bigger coffee table. I mean, quite frankly, I wanted a bigger place to decorate. And I also wanted something that, you know, if I'm serving food down here, like dessert or whatever, people have more of a spot to, you know, put their plate. I started this year with this really gorgeous lantern. Look at how tall it is. It's beautiful. I filled it with three pumpkins. I added some leaves. I decided not to adorn it with a bow or anything, just to keep it simpler down here. And I have these two incredible stands. Whenever you go in a store and you look at something and you say, I wonder who would buy that? Well, the answer is Shelly. I looked at these two and I went, I have to have them. They're so whimsical. They're so much fun. I don't have to just use them for fall. I know they're spider webs, but if I do a little bit of covering of this and just put some maybe, uh, you know, winter leaves in here or, you know, do some eggs or something, you won't even see it. So I know I can use these for more than one season. Down here, you'll notice again, um, in another video I talked to you about how much I like to use trays. This is a really large tray. Inside of the tray, I have a large bowl that I always keep on top of this coffee table. And I just filled it with some pumpkins. Again, the leaves that I already had. These are from the dollar store. We use them for one of my daughter's weddings. And I, you know, I, I don't throw stuff out. And I thought, you know what? They fit so perfectly and fill in spaces. There's no reason why I couldn't use them in here. Roses, 
can be used any time of the year, at least as far as I'm concerned. And then I added a few little berries in the middle to give it a little bit of height. Just love this little vignette. And I know when my husband is down here watching whatever it is he's watching, whatever sports show he's watching, he can look over and he can know that I decorated this for him too. So isn't that nice? He's kind of smiling at me right now because really he doesn't care. Over here, I have made this wreath. Now I love to make wreaths. I like to make them out of mesh. I like to make them out of flowers. And this is one of my favorite for Halloween actually. So you'll notice I've gone from the pinks and the, and the soft greens and the blacks. And now I'm over here and I've obviously got some blacks in this. And I added pumpkins. I added orange picks. Really fun trick or treat ribbon. I've added this little goofy thing down here, a little skirt with some legs, some twirly picks, some extra little mesh. Um, I call this mesh wire. I really like it. And again, some picks up here. You can really make a wreath look gorgeous by just embellishing, by picking up a few things and embellishing. This is a witch's hat that, you know, I just attached to the top of the wreath. I filled up inside of that hat with some grocery bags from the grocery store to fill it out. I added a, a spider from the dollar store. There's a fair amount of this is not expensive. Some of it was a little costly, but a lot of this I got from the dollar store um, or Michael's. I, I like to go to Michael's when the season is over and you can pick up stuff for 70% off. So that's how I made a lot of this. And I made this wreath a couple of years ago. My husband is great. He stores them beautifully, wraps them all up beautifully um, in clear plastic bags so that really nothing gets destroyed and I can use them year over year. Now I'm gonna take you to my, what used to be a buffet in my kitchen. So before I redid my kitchen, this was actually underneath my window. And I didn't want to get rid of it because I like it so much and quite frankly, I need the storage. So I said to my husband, let's repurpose this and let's put it in the basement. So you'll notice when you are doing some decorating, I'm just going to step over here a little bit. When you're doing some decorating, you don't have to start with expensive things. I wore this witch's hat, these gloves and this mask one year. Um, right over here, one year for Halloween. I, I didn't want to wear it again, so I just made it into a fun little thing because I found these legs this year at the dollar store, and I thought, well, that's a perfect thing. I'll just put this on, again, a cake stand, and create something. This was done in like, you know, like 30 seconds. I just thought it was fun, whimsical, and what the heck. Where's your head? I say to Tennyson, Tennyson, where's the witch's head? And he looks at me and he goes, it disappeared. That makes him laugh and it makes me laugh too. Then I have these fun sparkly little pumpkins here, a couple of more of my witches plates and another sparkly pumpkin. In the bottom of this buffet I've just got a few more pumpkins, you know, just to fill it out, make it look pretty. At Christmas I fill that with really gorgeous Fitz and Floyd. Take you back over here a little bit You'll notice this little wagon from Michael's. Again, bought that 70% clearance, you know, next to nothing. And filled it again with some of those really pretty gourds that I love from Pier 1. Another one of those gorgeous plates and a pumpkin sitting on, you know, what would normally be a vase. Like really, how simple is that? If you're wondering how to start, use things that you already have and just add to it. This will be very easy to de-decorate and it'll be easy for me to move from this season into Christmas. The final place I want to take you to is my fireplace. Now you may think, what is Shelly doing mixing this, which is obviously black and purple and orange, with these colors that are obviously softer. Well, again, I wanna make sure that when children come downstairs, 
they have a place for their eyes to go where they will be intrigued. And I know when my little grandson comes down here, he loves to look at this. I have to say to him, please don't pull on the witch's legs. And you know, it's just fun. And I'm okay that it doesn't actually match. It's more about the, you know, the juxtaposition of the different styles that makes, for me, it makes a more interesting vignette. So once again, I've got a large tray here. I have filled this tray with pumpkins and gourds and some berries and some leaves. And then I've adorned the other, the other side of this with some more of these gorgeous pumpkins. These candlesticks I keep out all year. I don't necessarily keep them here, but they're so pretty. You know, they've got uh, filigreed leaves. They're absolutely gorgeous. So I like to keep these out all year. And you know what? With this coloration, you can make this work for spring, summer, and fall, which is exactly why I bought these particular um, beeswax candles. They're just gorgeous. These candles came from a store in Canada called Bowering. I love Bowering. Um, I go to Bowering every two or three weeks and just feast my eyes on the beautiful things that they have in their store. I bought a lot of things for my home from Bowering, um, bought a lot of things for my daughter's homes from Bowering because we all love the pretty and the sparkly and the feminine decor that is in that wonderful store. Over here, you'll notice I have just taken this, you know, it's an apothecary jar and filled that with, again, some leaves and some gourds and some beads. Done the same thing with those little cupcake trays, just to sort of finish it off, give it height. I like height, height on one end, bring it down in the middle, and then take the height up again. So, here we are. Finished this brief little tour of what I've done in this part of my basement decorate you know every little thing in this room at least not for fall but this room becomes a wonderful children's magic wonderland and that's going to happen in about two weeks i know it's only mid-october but i plan to really transform my entire home so that when people come to visit they always want to go you know really on a look and see tour of my home because you know i like to make it pretty and I really like to have my guests be entertained when they come with all sorts of visual things to see. So I hope you liked today's video. Please click the little bell, double click the little bell so that you're subscribed and you get notifications. I'm trying to grow my viewership and I would like you to leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Maybe you don't like this. Maybe you think it's fun and whimsical too. Just leave me a comment, tell me what you think. Tell me again what you like to do. How do what do you like to do to intrigue children in your world? And what do you like to do to make the adults in your world smile when they come to your home? Anyway, it's been great talking to you. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.